President Parks Town, President of the United Cities and Local Government, thank you very much indeed for working with us on this coalition uh, for municipal finance. Well, thank you very much and thank you to UNCDF for the partnership that I think has evolved in focusing a lot of attention on municipal financing and the issues that have to do with uh, financing development at a local level. Absolutely. And um, of course, many people would think that uh, municipal finance is a topic for accountants or it's a topic for those 0.1% of the population that is interested in local government's internal affairs. But of course, municipal finance is actually a global issue. Uh, how is that so? Well, it's a global issue to the extent that uh, the implementation of the global development agendas is largely going to be implemented at a local level. The issues that you're confronting are issues that are dealt with by the cities, uh, uh, whether you're dealing with uh, mitigation or adaptation in relation to climate change, whether you're dealing with the sustainable development goals, uh, the implementation of the new urban agenda. The reality is these programs are to a large extent going to be implemented at a local level and developing systems and mechanisms and policies to ensure that our local authorities have the capability and capacity to implement issues at a local level is important. It is equally an important issue at a community level because mm -hmm. the reality is that you're also talking about local taxation, local mm -hmm revenue collection and it is a correlation between global financing mechanisms and, and local tax uh, and revenue generating mechanism and blending these into uh, tools that um, become most applicable right. uh, in terms of the agenda and program of, uh, of our respective municipalities. And, and what do you say to those who would um, argue that Really, uh, central government is more efficient, has economies of scale, and uh, municipal governments are inefficient and maybe more corrupt, and therefore they should not be handling any of these uh, issues. What would you say to somebody who argued that? I think the evidence we've seen so far is that it is in those local authorities where you have a fiscal decentralization that uh, complements the decentralization of government systems where you're experiencing greater levels of success because you're able to attract the right capacity, capability uh, and skill to those levels of government. Ultimately, uh, if you create local authorities with the appropriate legislative policy and fiscal instruments, you're able to attract the right people. But um, when you have local authorities who become mechanisms of transferring finance from one point to the other, uh, then you can't develop the appropriate levels of accountability. So I don't think that uh, the evidence so far suggests that uh, fiscal decentralization would work um, in a negative way and directing financing to local government would work in a negative way. I don't want to suggest that the evidence uh, suggests otherwise. Right. Proven that yourself uh, in your role uh, as mayor of Johannesburg, I believe, where you were able to issue a retail bond that citizens could buy, and you're also able to finance the, um, the high-speed link from the airport to downtown uh, using elements of municipal finance. Could you, uh, in, in a few moments, explain how you were able to, to, to make these uh, innovations uh, take place? You know, if you have um, appropriate fiscal decentralization and appropriate policy framework, yeah, it also encourages innovation, innovative financing instruments that are explored by local authorities. The city of Johannesburg initiated the first bond instruments in the country. Uh, we also, in fact, listed on the stock exchange the first green bond so that we could focus on, to a large extent, issues that have to do with the sustainability and climate change. Um, we were able to raise through export credit agency funding mechanisms that would support uh, the implementation of a bus rapid transit system. So in many ways you, you have appetite for uh, innovation when yes. you have the authority to be able to implement at a local level. Yes, that's a very interesting point and I think one of the areas that we can deepen our collaboration is to take the experience of uh, countries like South Africa where the, the, there is that regulatory framework and the legislative framework is in place 
and try to work with some of the other countries um, in Latin America, Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa, and uh, parts of Europe, e indeed, where the, the, those, those um, regulatory frameworks are, are not yet in place. Uh, I think that in, in Africa, maybe, um, South Africa would be one of the leaders, perhaps together with Nigeria. And in Latin America, I think Bolivia is becoming one of the, mm. one of the leaders. And uh, I look forward to collaborating with UCLG through your broad membership in identifying those leaders in the various uh, geographic regions of the world and seeing how we can take their examples to other countries as part of this coalition. Um, Thank you very much. We certainly are looking forward to greater collaboration. I think that uh, we would want to think of communities of best practice yes. at a local level that we could use as platforms for both learning and knowledge sharing. Uh, at a local level, but also encouraging innovation at a local level. And I think that the partnership that's evolving um, is most appropriate to ensure that we can be able to uh, build and support this. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about practical examples and how we can make that happen. Now, I think there's two other things to touch on. One is at the global scale. We will need to work together to ensure that this message reaches the higher level policy makers, not only in forums like the UN, but also in G20 maybe, and some of the other places where big decisions are made, Davos is another one. What is UCLG's strategy to, to get the message to, the, to that level? We're improving levels of, and, and programs of advocacy uh, for uh, UCLG so that we're able to reach out to different foreign platforms, in particular where national governments meet, where multilateral systems converge so that we can be able to uh, ensure that support is provided to local government, but also that the appropriate policy instruments are put in place to ensure adequate decentralization with uh, the appropriate levels of fiscal decentralization and the ability ultimately of local authorities to be at the, the forefront and the beachhead of implementing the global development agenda. The reality is uh, our local authorities experience this on a daily basis in terms of the challenges. You, all you need to do is to enable them to implement and I think you would be able to generate energy of communities, of right. local authorities and indeed all of government. Right. Well, thank you so much and we look forward to working with you on this in the years to come. Thank, thank you. you so much indeed. Thanks, Mr.